In this video, we are going to learn the concept of dynamics and how to configure them in GraphWork 64. You can apply dynamics to object that calls or allow change to occur in that object or to other object in the same display. The changes could happen over time, can be caused by a system event, can be user initiated, or can be triggered by a state or condition. Any object you can define in GraphWork can have one or more dynamics applied to it. There are several dynamics you can add to a display that are located on the dynamics ribbon. Predefined objects have been created for you and have their own dynamics. Under the text object section, you can find process point object, which displays a readout from a data point that you specify. Data entry object accepts user input, which it writes to a data point that you specify. And time date object displays the time the end the date from the system, or you can modify it to be used as a time date picker. In the button section, you can find the predefined buttons of different kinds, as well as the pick actions button that allows you to make an object into a button. The pick actions dynamic, as well as other dynamics, such as the color or size dynamics, are considered more do it yourself, meaning that instead of simply select and draw the shape, you will need to add the dynamics to an existing object. Each of the sections in the dynamics ribbon will be further explained with examples in the following videos. In order to understand how the dynamics work and how to configure them, I'll start with creating a rectangle on the canvas. Note that if you select the dynamics property tab from the content menu, it will appear blank, which suggests that there are no dynamics associated with the rectangle yet. You can turn this rectangle into a user interactive object by applying a size dynamic to it. The dynamics tab now appears and first we will assign a data source to the dynamic. Go to simulation and define a new variable with random mode, low limit as zero and high limit as a hundred with 2000 millisecond update rate as the default unit is a millisecond. And under size mode property, I will change it to up, down, left, right, so that the size of the shape will keep expanding in all directions according to the number changes. And to help illustrate the value, I'll put a predefined dynamic process point to the canvas, except we will not define a data source for the object and see what happens. In runtime, the rectangle size is changing every two seconds, yet the process point is showing a great asterisk. When hover your mouth over, the tooltip shows up and says no data value, suggesting that there is no data defined for the data source and thus the dynamic will not function. Now that we will go back to the configuration mode and add the same variable as data source for the process point and go back to runtime, the process point reads the number and the rectangle is changing size relatively according to the number now. Lastly, it is worth mentioning that Genesis 64 uses the concept of commands and users can define their own commands as predefined script where to pass parameters and perform actions in the system. Examples of actions include loading displays, animating object, setting global aliases, writing to databases, and etc. The users still have the option for writing custom script for more complex and unique procedures.